Let's clap for Abel, everybody. What is one of the most common disorders in the United States of America? It's anxiety. Anxiety is a very common disorder that we have all experienced. You've experienced it. I've experienced it. It's very common. Another person who's experienced it is Johnny Depp. He's a very famous and known actor from the Pirates of the Caribbean series. He suffers from social anxiety disorder, and he admits that he gets remarkably uncomfortable during interviews and even on set. He admits that he even starts to panic. His way of coping is keeping therapists on hand at all, all times to help him control and maintain his anxiety throughout the day to help him get through the day. Now, we can't all just call therapists whenever we need help, but this is his way of coping with anxiety. According to the National Institute of Met Mental Health, anxiety is a common mental health issue that is characterized by feelings of unease, stress, fear. And all these things together can develop something either mild or so severe that they, interact, that they interfere with the person's daily activities. According to the Anxiety Disorder Association of America, in the U.S., anxiety disorder affects 40 million adults, or 18.1% of the population per year. But only 36.9% of them receive treatment. These are for various reasons. Other people, it's a little easier for them to access the healthcare system. Other people, they can't even get there. Here are some examples of some openly expressed people who have experienced anxiety. For example, Leanne Rimes, a renowned singer who is in the country region, entered a treatment facility in 2012 because she was close to committing suicide. She didn't know what to do, so she voluntarily entered a treatment facility. And for another example is Abraham Lincoln, a most respected president. He was believed to have anxiety as well. He underwent the standard medical treatment of the time, which was various painful procedures, even consisted of putting mustard on burns of the skin. And in the end, he found that only pu um, not publishing, but writing negative reviews on individuals and things that he didn't like without publishing them helped him overcome his anxiety. <clears throat> A major factor on how severe or how mild anxiety can be is how we manage anxiety. So a major factor is mindful therapy. You have regular therapy, you have counselors you can look to. Mindful therapy is just a therapy where you're more cautious and more aware of the things around you and others' feelings. And also, it's good to seek professional help or seek professional opinions at least. It's not good to just go day by day and not figure out what the feeling you are feeling is. It's good to provide to go to professionals because they provide tools and techniques. Here are some words from Emma Stone speaking about her experience with anxiety. Well, I had to turn it off, so you might just okay. want to tell us. Okay, well, let me just explain to you what she's saying. She's kind of just letting you know that it's okay to have anxiety, that having anxiety is more like being normal. It's that she's basically saying that you're so normal, it's crazy. And it's kind of weird to say it's so normal, it's crazy, but it's just it's normal to feel all the feelings that you're feeling. You're just feeling a little bit more than other people. That's kind of what anxiety is. You're kind of thinking about more things, you kind of think that a problem is way bigger than it actually is. That is because of the anxiety. <clears throat> yeah, this is M. Stone. She uh, is a run-on actor, so this comes to show that anybody, regardless of their success, can experience anxiety. <clears throat> Another main cause of anxiety is social media. Social media can lead to the fear of missing out because you see other people having fun, making money, having nice cars, and you have to go to school and work. So that, that kind of, that kind of um, takes away from you having fun on social media, it kind of develops a, a FOMO, which is a fear of missing out. So more than half of social media users actually report depression. is a very common thing when using social media. It's actually the number one side effect of social media. Here's some things that you can do if you 
find someone or a loved one with anxiety, things you can do is just validate their feelings. You can let them know that it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to be nervous, that everybody gets nervous, that it's either mild or so severe, so you have to understand that where a person's coming from and their anxiety all comes from different places because they all don't have the most easily accessible ways to manage their anxiety, like going to a therapist or just going day by day and living through their anxiety because they can't find a solution. So another thing you can do is encourage them to focus. You can just, and what I mean by encourage them to focus is when you have anxiety, you see things way bigger than they actually are. You think that there's way more problems when all you need to do is encourage them to focus on one little thing so that way they can fix what they're scared of or have anxiety of. Another thing you can do for them is help them to help themselves, help them seek for professionals, help them seek um, meditating or yoga, things like that. They can all help people with anxiety. And I hope all these examples and information can help you or help a family member in instances of anxiety.